Um, I grew up in East Oakland, California, and um, I grew up playing playing basketball because I was in love with football. My brother played, my dad coached, and all my cousins played, and I was really good. I could be like quarterback, running back, wide receiver, but my dad said I was a girl, and I couldn't really play. <laughs> uh, we played basketball always with the boys, uh, just being tough, basically. Uh, you fall down, you get up. I guess my goal was to always play basketball and continue to get better, but never to allow that to define me. So that's why I work so hard in the classroom. And in, and in life, you have to have a strong mind because there's always, you know, negative things trying to pull you in the wrong direction, lead you down the wrong path. And just kind of knowing, like, it's not like really what happened to you. I was put in a situation of poverty, but you can get out. You have to know, like, you're going to have to work and work and work. And even though you're working and you don't see like instant gratification, you kind of feel like whatever. But the biggest key to my success is delayed gratification. I've never gotten anything until like the end of, of the journey. She is basically our, our nucleus, you know, our catalyst. And, and when she's, you know, she's got a high motor and so she just plays so hard. And so our defense, which is a huge part of our success, you know, everybody feeds off of her with that. And then certainly um, offensively, she's the one pushing the ball. She's the one basically initiating the offense every single time down. So, you know, she's just really good at it. And she does it with a player, you know, with a charisma that, uh, yeah, makes her a fan favorite. I say, um, yes, I am the hype man, the energy, the, the spark plug of the team. And I would say because when a person does something themselves, it's like, yay. But when you see someone else that you love, that you watch struggle and just really, really do their best to become who they want to become, that's beautiful to me because we know all the hard work that we put into it. In my almost 20 years at Arizona State, she's probably in the top three of players that I've coached that have improved the most. You know, she came in, she was learning the ropes, she didn't know how to, she didn't know the level, none of them do as freshmen, she didn't know how to work hard, she didn't understand the demands, the attention to detail. She questioned a lot. She, you know, she, especially with Lily's background, the trust was 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 tough. And now she's somebody that's teaching all the younger players how to work hard, how to trust, how to buy in, how to do all the things that you know she struggled with as a freshman. I would say either my devil crossover or my in and out. It's just uh, a simple move that I know will get people because they're used to me playing so quick. So they're like, okay, if I cross, oh, I don't want her to go this way, I don't want her to go this way. So I just try to do things that are quick and that'll allow me to get in front of my player. Also, I'm, I'm short. Like, I know it's probably obvious. <laughs> kind of figured that out. Yeah, so I need to do things that are quick, easy, and uh, tricky in order to get past you. The goal is, as far as education-wise, to finish my master's program by next year or within the year or two, depending on if I am able to go to the WNBA. I also want to play overseas just to get the experience of different cultures. But my biggest thing is just giving back to the community and helping. When I first came here, we weren't where we wanted to be. We were 13 and 18. We didn't make it to postseason at all. So just to be able to sit here today and talk about these great things and our journey of how we've just gotten better over the year and talking about delayed gratification of now we're seeing it. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for the opportunity and I hope you guys are looking forward to the rest of our season.